Where is Sony? For reals, everybody and their mother is sitting at home, waiting, yearning for any type of news out there in the world. This would have been a perfect time for Sony to give gamers, people who are potentially gonna buy their system in the future, some information, some hype. This is the perfect time to build the hype for the PlayStation 5, but yet they're letting Microsoft get all the shine. Why? Where is Sony? We already seen with the release of the DualSense that people are thirsty for Sony information. That controller broke the internet for many reasons. Some people like the controller, some people don't. I do. But that was a long time ago. And tomorrow, Xbox will be featuring third party games. Again, where is Sony? Yes, some of those games will be on PlayStation. So I guess they're showing off PlayStation games too. However, Xbox is still gonna get all the shine because they are the ones releasing this content and they're gonna be showing off the power of the Series X. And this is just the beginning. Xbox has already shown us their console, their controllers, their full specs. We already have some clues of what games they're working on for next generation. Fable, Halo, Gears of War, Forza, those are a given. What does Sony have for us? Instead, they're showing off the heat sink. Sure, keeping your games cool is interesting, but that's not gonna build a hype for gamers. That's building hype for geeks. We need Sony to build a hype for the masses, and this is not the way to do it. And when you look at the games now that are being developed cross-gen, most of them don't look good. At least they don't look next-gen. Look at Outriders, for example. It looks to me that Sony is still concentrating on this generation, which I guess is understandable, but it only makes Sony look weak, like if they don't have anything planned for next-gen. Like they're just hoping that they can cruise, that people will magically just jump on board because the PlayStation 4 was such a success. The same mistake that Xbox did last generation with the Xbox 360. And for someone like me, who's on the fence and hasn't yet decided which system to get next generation, at least at launch, this doesn't look good. Everything so far that I hear from the Xbox Series X has been pretty impressive. In fact, I'm gonna be releasing a video about a few features that I like the most. And PlayStation? They haven't told me sh Now I understand we still have about four months to go, but the thing is, Xbox is making moves now. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have more planned as the year goes on. And if Sony wants to get the gamers hyped and actually compete with the Xbox, compete with their hype machine this fall, they gotta start now. Because by the looks of it, it seems that this generation coming up, Xbox is being more transparent than PlayStation is. And one thing I know about gamers, we can see through all the bullshit. Now, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping that Sony had everything planned and the Pan Pan just threw everything out of whack. I'm hoping that they're just waiting to see what Xbox has and then they're gonna show their cards. But as I hear myself say that, that's just hopeful thinking at this point. For all we know, Sony may not like the writing on the wall, and to save themselves face, they just might delay the PlayStation 5 and blame it on the Pan Pan. Again, I am hope I'm wrong. As a person who picked Xbox this generation, I was really looking forward to start with the PlayStation 5 for next gen.